Time's up. Let's do this. We're in for a wild night. <laughs> Welcome, 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 everyone, to episode 151 of Born to Be Classic. I mean, Born to Be Wild, a wild, a wild exclusive Hearthstone podcast where we have fun hanging out with friends, talking about the wild format of Hearthstone and spotlighting members of the wild community. I'm your host, as always, Nate Wolf, joining you from Orange County, California, on a beautiful Friday evening here. It is spring, and like it has been the most beautiful day today that we've had in like months. It's it's like sunny outside and like kind of warm, but there's a nice like ocean breeze. It's just it's beautiful. And I spent all day working and like observing it out the window. But <laughs> but you can see it at least. I, I went I went out to lunch uh, and I came back and I got to walk in it for two or three minutes. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but, but you know it was very nice and i'll enjoy it this weekend uh it's a lovely easter weekend so um anyways i'm joined by two of my favorite people yeah the crew is back together um hydralisk what? welcome back how are you great i'm super happy to be here it took last week off uh friday like midday one of my buddies that i hadn't seen in years sent me a text saying hey i'm in vancouver doing a trade show I'm playing tourist. What are you doing tonight? And I was like, a video game thing with some friends. <laughs> it's like, you <laughs> was like, you, my exact, you nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he's just like, well, like, do you want to go out and, you know, get a beer? Yes. Yes, I do. I've not, <laughs> I've not seen you last time I saw him. Actually, we went to Mount Baker on one, one of the last times he came here, but that was in 2014. Cause the lift ticket is still on my pants. <laughs> oh, so <wow>. um <laughs> that was nine years ago last time that i actually saw him and even wow. that was like a long time after the the time before that so anyway it was a really really good night it was fun seeing uh, him and catching up with him um but now i'm back and i'm glad to be here with you guys nice 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 and electric sheep city welcome back how are you friend yeah friends i'm doing fantastic this amazing friday evening that I, I don't think I went outside except to take the trash out myself either. But <laughs> <laughs> the weekend is almost upon us. Uh, yeah, you know, back to work now. Have the the newborn juggling all the things. So um, it is so difficult. Was great, but it was a lot to kind of catch up on. So I'm very glad I had all that time. But now I've definitely been paying for it, wading through over you know, 2,000, upwards of 3,000 emails. Oh my gosh. Do you have any gray hair Whoa. yet? <laughs> I, I I had like a strand or two before, but I'm, I, I haven't looked since. May have some more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't look. It's fine. <laughs> oh Ignorance gosh. is bliss. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so for those of you joining us for the first time, welcome aboard. Let me briefly explain how the show works. We record this podcast live every Friday evening at twitch.tv slash born to be wild HS. And the video version of this podcast is posted to YouTube shortly thereafter. Audio versions are also distributed to all of the podcast apps. So however you're watching, listening, or absorbing via osmosis, this podcast today. Thank you. Yes. You. you. <laughs> thank you so much, everybody, for joining us tonight. A big, giant thank you to those of you who are joining us live in Twitch chat. It's always really cool to interact with everybody live while we do the show in case people want to share things or, or share breaking news with us or sometimes we forget stuff or it's just fun, you know? Um, also, big, giant thank you to Shakun, the executive producer of our show. And thank you to R. Morn and the other uh, patrons of our show. We really appreciate your support. Um, if you're interested in supporting our show, there's a few ways that you could do it. If you, you want to like, comment, subscribe to our stuff on YouTube or leave any sort of reviews on the podcast platforms, uh, that helps us. If you're interested in any merch, we have some available on our website, which is born to be wild, hs .com. 
And if you're someone who's on Twitch a lot, we do have some emotes you can unlock for free just by following and others that you can get by subscribing, uh, which coincidentally is free if you use your Amazon Prime. Okay, there's my spiel. It's it's done, but uh, happy to get that out of the way. If you are interested in interacting with any of us, um, personally, we do have a Discord channel. It's a really fun online community, friends that we've made all across the whole world. Um, it's really fun. We share news, we share deck lists, we share uh, funny usernames, and... Uh, this week's funny username. So this episode is dedicated to McP Pants. <laughs> <laughs> I had that one today. It was so funny. Uh, Stinker, Baby Powder, uh, McFlippy. Who else? Lucky Pants, Drunk Tractor. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, there's uh, always some on here that are funny that I can't read on the show. <laughs> but... Um, Anyway, interested in finding out what those are, you can always check out the Discord, the link to which is on the Born to Be Wild website, which is www.borntobewildhs.com. That's right. Oh, yeah, I forgot to put the merch up on the screen, but there's some shirts. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, yeah. So um, when we kick off the show, we typically kind of talk about our week, and it's been an eventful week. Um, Work has been super busy for me because it's it's like budget season. So uh, I don't know for people that don't know, like the fiscal year starts um, July 1st. And so we're leading up into that. And uh, there's just a ton of work that goes into prepping for that. And uh, so like last weekend, I worked all weekend and then I worked until midnight on Monday night. And it was just like, I'm so Ouch. tired. I'm so tired. But um but it's going well and I'm learning a lot. So I'm, I'm in a good mindset. It's just, it's very tiring. So, uh, and then my wife, my wife's birthday was yesterday and that was very nice. And so, um, yeah, it was good. We had a great time and, and, uh, yeah, everything's going well. Um, I've been playing some Hearthstone and some snap both of course, but, uh, in Hearthstone. So I got the bug from y'all playing, um, classic and, and I, and I was like, well, I gotta, I gotta balance. I gotta play all, all the modes. So I've been, I've, I was like, I better do wild first. So I, I went to diamond five, um, playing even shaman. I'm playing schmoopy daddy's list. Uh, it's basically the same one that I was running that I hit legend with last month with, I think the only card swapped out is crackle for some burst, but I like it just in case there's something greedy that it goes over the top. Um, mm. it, it's kind of like, I don't like the range, but it's, it, it, it's still good. Like it, it works. In ETC, so you don't see it on the screen, but in ETC, it's Lotheb and uh, Isor. Yeah. Isor, yeah, he said he added was that for Brucon me. Brucon, the other one. Oh, and Brucon, yeah. 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 yeah, which actually is pretty good because it, depending on the matchup, like if you know it's gonna go long or it's against aggro and you're losing or something, like Brucon is kind of cool because it's a board clear and some armor and then some healing, um, and you can potentially stabilize. Uh, Isor is just a win more card, but it's hilarious uh, to, to play in this. And um, Lotheb is the one that I've chosen almost every single time because it's just so good to to drop against any class that's playing any spells. <laughs> so yeah. uh, it's fun. And I just sailed to, to Diamond 5 with it, and then I switched over to Classic because um, I, I wanted to, to do that thing. If anyone wants to try it, uh, the link is in our discord but it's also in our show notes and uh, i'll post it in chat right now the code i mean if you want to copy and paste it it's really good um credit to schmoopy daddy who i stole it from and i changed no cards so there you go anyways <laughs> uh here he, so he, my achievement of the week i got legend and classic um hooray! 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 I, I got jealous of, of hydra uh who beat me to it and we'll talk about that in a second because it's it's incredible but mm -hmm. um this is a here's the funny part right this was on i don't know it was a couple of days ago right and uh check this out though so here's the here's i from bronze 10 played 65 games to legend i won 60 of them <laughs> 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 and hit legend with a 92 percent win rate <laughs> Wow. That, that is more than two. <laughs> oh my gosh. I, I got the uh, Aramorn tagged me in Discord earlier. I got the coveted neon tweet for my <laughs> for the classic legend deck. <laughs> you, you know what we could say? 
it's, it's, it's low for classic. <laughs> That's that. It that probably is low for classic. I can't believe the f- I missed five games. So my longest win streak was uh, my my biggest win streak was forty three games. Um, <laughs> there's I, I did change the list up a little bit because I hit. So when I first started out, it was lots of bots, and then when I hit the rank, um, mm, it was like in gold. It was either gold ten or gold five. Like mm-hmm. I hit a bunch of real players, and I was like, oh, because the play pattern against the bots is just so different. All yeah. they do is is like play a bunch of bad aggro cards that are really bad, and uh, Doomsayer was like the best card by far in the whole deck Mm -hmm. and it was hilarious because you you drop doomsayer and like they will not attack it they just don't and i think it's got to be bad programming right the bots look at it and like it's not a threat it's got zero attack and they just go phase and then they you wipe their whole board um (laughs) and they play into it too (laughs) oh my oh they do yeah you you drop the doomsayer and they play like three minions yeah and then Uh it's like so it, it kind of felt like cheating but like the the bots play so this is really interesting and we'll see when you, uh, i show hydra stats because i had a pretty healthy range here like yeah good so spread if, if you're asking what type of decks they play i'm just gonna say cards they play cards <laughs> it, it, it's yeah. like all the one mana and two mana like the the little murlocs and the knife juggler and the um not even the knife jugglers so, so often but like it's just all the little one and two cost things it's and the cards that like make other cards they're just trying to go aggro and they only go face because they're trying to get wins i get they're probably just farming like xp so that they can sell the accounts mm-hmm. or something i don't, I don't know that's but what blue train's theory was i actually think that XP is farming to sell account to sell yeah, it yeah i think his theory is probably sense. like right on i mean you could tell by looking at the usernames and stuff but anyways i hit this patch of like real players and um if you've got a skilled real player who's playing Zulok or like combo druid, like you, you have to try, <laughs> you have to like <laughs> yeah. actually really try hard on, on those ones. Um, and, uh, there what was, was your star bonus going into this. I think it was seven. I think yeah. it was seven. I don't know. It felt like it ran out so quickly though. Um, mm-hmm. but so I switched up the deck a little bit from the version that we got from, uh, that we were talking about last week. So I took, I took out the secret, the secrets that were in there before were the ones that brought the minion back to life with one health, whatever it's called. And I put in um, noble sacrifice because when I was facing off against the real people, like they're playing aggro stuff and I just needed to soak up the damage. Mm-hmm. And cause once I could stabilize, it gets a control deck. You just win. Uh, so I put in two noble sacrifices and I added a second um, guardian of Kings because the the healing was just so valuable yeah um and then for a little while there in that patch of like real players i was encountering some druids that were playing just giant chunky taunts and so i i put in the black knight and and like and then i like never played it the rest of the climb so (laughs) i i think that you could pull the black knight out and put like anything else in its place but um it's really cool right so doomsayer works really well uh, there's a couple of combos, right? So you've got wild pyromancer equality as a full board clear, um, or you can equality consecrate, which is a full board clear on their side or the, the cute one, right? You can, uh, all door peacekeeper to make some things attack one, and then you can stampede and Kodo to kill it, mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of fun if they play a big minion, but like the bots don't do that. So, it, and then the bots concede when they, when they like look at damage on boards, so you can play Ragnaros and they, even though it can't attack, they look at it and it's like eight attack and they just concede. It's so silly and stupid. Like I, it's like playing on easy mode. So if you need the 12 game win streak, like go play classic. It was such a joke. I mean, I feel bad doing it, but like I had never done it before. And, yeah. uh, it, it, it actually was kind of fun. Cause like, I didn't really have to, I, I almost goofed up a game. Cause my kid was showing me something. We we're doing the tavern brawl. And then we we're trying to wrap gifts for my wife's birthday. And like, I forgot I had a game going and I skipped a turn on accident and I was like, Oh no, I don't mess up. I I've got this giant win streak. Don't mess me up. And I, I still like, like recovered and won, but it was, uh, <laughs> but the play pattern is so different. Right. And yeah. so when I hit diamond one, it was only real people. 
and uh and and it was like it was zoo warlock and face hunter and i was like oh my gosh so it's oh it was so my final three it was a rogue hunter hunter were the were the um classes and face hunter in classic is is pretty good and even the mid-range hunter is really good right um Mm -hmm. and and so those like i had to focus but i still i still won uh but but it was it was definitely an experience do i think that i will probably ever do it again no i don't think so it was it was it was very nostalgic though i mean i i felt like because we all started playing like ages ago right i started playing in next ramus and like we used to use some of these cards like Tyrion was my favorite legendary for a long oh, yeah. long time mm-hmm. i just thought it was so cool like oh this is so busted it's got taunt and divine shield and it gives us a giant weapon and now like we have nobody's played it in years right <laughs> i don't even know what what is paladin on on wild ladder anyways uh Tyrion. Now that's a name I haven't heard in oh, many years. Oh, you reminded me. You reminded me of the joke that I've been thinking of for four days. So, <laughs> yes. Thank you. I'm sure you could already know what it is because you're just doing the voice. So the achievement that you get every time you oh, yeah. you rank up in in Wild is uh, back in my day. <laughs> Sheep, sheep, yeah. sheep says it better, but uh, making my day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what's so funny is I didn't know, like, wait, because you would do that, and then when I got the achievement, I was like, oh, <laughs> I didn't realize, and I was just cackling the every time it pop up on the screen, I just laughing. It's so great. So, anyways, that was my oh, classic. This is my foray into classic. <laughs> But anyways, uh, that's yeah, that's that's pretty much what I spent all week um, doing. We'll, we're doing a, a Born to Be Cosmo show this weekend, and we'll all talk about my uh, what I've been up to in, in Snap. It's uh, it's been fun. But anyways, yeah. So I'll, I'll try to do Wild Legend um, ideally this weekend is what I'm going to go for. Uh, we'll see. I really wanted to play fun stuff, but uh, it's not really working out so well for me. So I'll probably just stick on the even shaman train. Although, it, is it is it still early enough to maybe try the like control uh, death knight? Maybe, but like it's Over probably too late. Probably it's, a little. Too yeah, late, yeah, yeah. Anyways, talking about um, even death knight over here. Let me just yeah. So that is what I've been playing. Um, since the reversions, I've played a little bit, um, not like as you know a, a ton. Um, so we'll we'll talk a little bit more about the reversions later. Um, but uh, the Demon Seed was it is a, a a deck that I'm facing against, and this this has not, I'm not going to say a favored, but it's it's pretty even. <laughs> into the demon seed (laughs) wow (laughs) even dk being even into it um because you have like those big bombs that you can play late um and you have like the the early game to to just go um ways to discover additional things you can kind of get under them and then if they do survive into late into mid to late you drop the big bombs you go face you can get there um They also do have a lot of healing. So sometimes they get there. It's about even. Um, I played that deck and was also even as as the demon seed. Um, Ended up hitting 100 games with this exact build. Um, Not all of them were this week. uh, And have a 60% win rate with this one. So low for wild. but (laughs) (laughs) That's funny but yeah it's been a fun fun time climbing with a wild even unholy dk nice nice cool what have you been playing hydra multiple things uh but the the first thing that i did was friday right at midnight was ladder reset Mm -hmm. and um i decided i wasn't gonna go to bed so i i i i started playing classic because everyone's on the classic train i saw 
like Shmoopy Daddy had started and, and, and Sheep, you had done it. And I'm like, okay, I want to do this. But you guys started a couple days before the end of the season. And I was looking at the calendar. I thought there's there's no way like this is happening. It's too I late. can't. Yeah. I can't with, do no, this now. with no star bonus? No way. No. And so I had a four star bonus. <laughs> <laughs> That's more than two. It was it, it was brutal. It was brutal. Four star bonus, but I stayed up to three in the morning. So from twelve till three, and I got to, I think gold, <laughs> right? And then yeah, uh, it was the gold day, the first night. Yeah, I, mm-hmm. I I got up at like seven thirty in the morning, so I slept for like three four hours, and then I told my wife, I am not doing anything else but playing Hearthstone today until <laughs> I get Legend, and that's what I did. I played the entire day because i had no star bonus like it was gone it was like i said i started with four and it was gone and i grinded the entire day it took me till one in the morning so <laughs> technically I, it wasn't day one legend i was late by an hour um but i remember i, up, I was yeah. on I, we were i was on the computer and we were in discord chat like not voice chat but like you, you kept sending the updates and uh and i was like wow we're we're both awake and it's so late <laughs> it was like it was uh I'm, I'm trying to scroll here but i just remember thinking like usually like i'm the one sending the messages like in the middle of the night when yeah uh, so this <laughs> that's is true okay so so yeah here it is here it is uh diamond two at 10 32 p.m uh diamond one 11 26 p.m Diamond Diamond One and Two Stars, eleven thirty six or thirty eight, and then uh, Diamond One and Three Stars, twelve o two a.m. Oh, and then you got it, twelve o eight a.m. Oh, twelve o eight. So I was eight minutes late oh, <laughs> uh, for, 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 for day one legend. Oh, rank, I get to count it. Rank with, fifteen with four stars. Oh, from four God. stars. Yeah, yeah. I came in at rank fifteen. Uh, which was, I, that blew my mind actually. Like when I got 15, I was like, <gasps> like, I, I didn't think that was going to happen. I was just trying to get legend. Um, but 15, I was like, well, that's, that's a screenshot. That's incredible. Yeah. Like that doesn't happen. I don't know. And I, I waited a little bit, but like I came in at like 150 or something. So that's, I, I, I was sad. My win rate was so high. I was like, I'm going to get some good ranking. Like, yeah, not really. The decay is real. I'm going to check how many classic legends there are real quick. There's 3,200 classic legends oh, right now. How many are bots? <laughs> 3,200. Yes. Um, if you look at the top names, they're actually ones that look real, not like JJJHKFFFFF, like all those ones we were reversing. Look, look about like a thousand down there. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, it, it'll probably be like all bots. Um, but. But yeah, um, the next day I DK down to 38 and then like 111. I don't know what I'm at right now, but it, the ah. DK is definitely real. Yeah. Is what the, were you going to ask? Is, is the DK even? Get it? Is the DK, uh, yeah. Sorry. Um, and is, then, uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, but you, I want to ask though, because you got the gold veggie now twice. And I, I, yes. I thought it was made up for the ages. Like, and then you sent me the screenshot like a week ago and I was like, oh my God, you got it. And then you sent it again. And I was like, how is this possible? It's I like- actually got it three times. Cause the second time I didn't screenshot it. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. And, and, uh, and so I was like, oh, this just must happen all the time. Right. Cause I got it two times in a row. I got it the once and then I got it about an hour later. And I, I was like, man, sheep just must be really unlucky or something. Mm. Cause I <laughs> like, I've... I got it twice, like in an hour. And so I didn't screenshot it the second time. And then it took like an entire week to do it again. <laughs> and I was bragging about having done it in 2021. <laughs> <laughs> I've never gotten it before. So for those of you who are listening to the audio version, there is one, it's the old storm wind, right? Uh, board or one of the old classic boards right it's the one with mm-hmm. that has the the vegetable garden in the bottom right corner and you click on the water trough and the water comes down and you can click on the carrots or the whatever's there and, and pull the vegetables and you click the water and it like pops up new plants and like once in a bazillion tries a golden vegetable pops up like <laughs> And Hydra has got three of them. <laughs> well, well, Just I did play. Wild. So um, 
my climb, I'll, I'll talk about that because this could transition here. I played a lot of games because I had so few stars. I ended up going 72 and 14, uh, which was an 84% win rate. And oh, so that's, wild. that's, that's, yeah, that's like almost a hundred games of me just sitting there clicking on these stupid vegetables, right? <laughs> Like, <laughs> like the whole time I'm just sitting there like click, 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 turn gold, dang it. Um, and yeah, so I, I got it three times. I don't know. I don't know how, but um, super lucky. Uh, but we were talking about Nate's uh, matchup, like diversity. You had all of the classes in, in yours. Mine, if you look... 57% of my games were against Warlocks. <laughs> I I have no idea why ours is so different. It must have been the star bonus. I don't know. But they were all like a zoo warlock. Mm -hmm. um, Could have been when you were playing too. Like um, I know a lot of the more kind of advanced bots tend to play warlock more zoo style. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I remember... There was one game. <laughs> you got the good bots. <laughs> I got the good bots, yeah. I, I actually lost to a double soul fire to a bot. I was uh -huh. so mad. I was so mad. The fact that they had the second one and didn't discard it, and they just shot both at my face. Because I remember the exact play. I was trying to... I was thinking of either healing, dropping the... What's the... So I would played Control Paladin, right? Just like Nate did. And I was going to drop the Guardian of Kings... That would heal mm -hmm. me or the Sunwalker, which is like basically a heal because I was worried they were going to drop a doom guard. Mm -hmm. Right. So I wanted to have the divine shield and the taunt up. So I'm trying to decide which one to do. So I'm like, ah, let's just do the Sunwalker. Right. And well, that was a mistake. <laughs> because Would have protected against the Doom Guard. However, <laughs> Soulfire goes over the time. <laughs> it, yeah, it did. And I lost to that. And I was ashamed of myself. But um, so for me, my climb was all real people up until gold. Right. So wow. I, That's I was which it is also explain the warlock outlier, too. It's true. Yes, it, there, there'll be more of that too because it was real people till gold. Gold 10, then gold 10, 100%, maybe 99% bots all the way till diamond 10. And so I had no star bonus, but they were bots. So mm -hmm. I was just winning almost every single game at that point. And then when I hit diamond 10, I started queuing into real people and I was like, no! <laughs> <laughs> My free wins! My free wins are gone. So it was... Uh, the climb from Diamond Ten to Legend was was like almost every single person was a, a real wow. person at, at that point in time, and that might explain also the the warlocks uh, like mm -hmm. such a high amount. It's a good I, class I'm not to play. Sure, I mean, but yeah. but yeah, free ride was definitely over at that point. <laughs> I think if you want, like, if you need wins towards like a five hundred or a one k portrait, like play classic. Well, not Demon Hunter or <laughs> or death yeah. knight but like I, this the is the only one i need nate it's the only one i need <laughs> <laughs> i remember there was a glitch for a short amount of time right that someone oh, found yeah. a way that you could play death knight in classic right <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it there was a... all neutral cards uh because you couldn't play any class cards but you could play uh, a oh. death knight hero oh uh -huh. well that's not very that's good. probably not very good no. <laughs> no, it was not <laughs> yeah the one man of hero power nobody else did <laughs> so you can tell it's a bot by well in my experience anyways what i would see the the dead giveaway was the username because it was like someone mm. just closed their eyes and like started typing on the keyboard it was just a big mash of like letters yeah and uh -huh. and then they would play only like one and two drop like aggro ish type cards mm -hmm. and they would never trade. They'd always just go face. And that was pretty much it. And as long as you could like value trade and heal if needed, then it was easy. Yeah. Stabilizing was like the key there. You had to make sure you could get to that point. Uh, Cause like you said, they just go, they go face. They're like, all right, I need more mana so I can play my, my taunts. <laughs> it, yeah. Yeah. 
Um, another kind of giveaway. So y'all both played um, Paladin. Mm -hmm. You mentioned the the Doomsayer one. Um, whenever I played a Hunter last month, one of the dead giveaways was how they played or didn't play around um, our secrets. So you know how. Oh um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> explosive trap. Well, they will play <laughs> they, into it, right? They play into it. Sometimes they'll even use like Shattered Sun Cleric to buff something that has one health when something else on board has two, so it could actually be buffed out of explosive range. They buff the smaller one and everything dies. So it's like, you know, turn five, they invest in the board, they attack, everything dies. They've just wasted their turn five and use their resources. It was great. <laughs> so funny. A lot of mine had, they didn't have the different portraits either they'd have they'd be using the classic yeah. portraits and then it was weird because they'd concede right they they look at damage on board and so you could have this giant board but like say your ragnaros or something that's not necessarily going to attack but they they'd like take their turn and like they'd like attack into you and then they'd concede it was so weird like like uh, uh -huh. i don't I, it was <laughs> like it's not normal behavior like you wouldn't do that right it was so strange yeah. it was just odd and and he was clearly like playing a a, a robot yeah ari's playing you they're all bots probably but hey if you need wins it's it's great and uh i don't know it's uh it's a little bit nostalgic i kind of wish that there yeah. was like i don't know I, it was fun though I, I enjoyed it and uh yeah i played almost the same deck you did i think i swapped a couple of cards because i i wanted the um yeah, the one that I played was the one that Schmoopy Daddy pulled off of. Um, what was it? Yeah, he got it from. .net. Yeah, he got it from Neon. I think it, so. It's a it's a Labore Sangre deck with like two cards mm -hmm. swapped out. I think, and so that's right. M mine is um, two more cards, like twice removed or whatever. But I got the classic Neon tweet, so that was nice. Dude, rank fifteen legend is is just There's ridiculous though that. i mean yeah you earned it <laughs> i was pretty excited to be honest i was like that's a really low number that's so <laughs> cool that's super cool though i i love it and so then i decided um uh, should play some wild so um like like you i've been i've been playing <laughs> um i've been playing even shaman i have this one list that i have just had sitting around forever there's no updates to it oh it's an but old it, one like i don't yeah, i don't think i have the list but it just yeah i didn't give you that but it's the same that. one it's it's probably one that i gave you five months ago like it's <laughs> like something that i've not updated but it has a really good win rate so i'd never change it um i want to put etc in and, and play it but i'm like etc like is today, not very good just, I went um, like eleven and one just before the show, wow. and I was like, "Oh, well, that's that's good." I made it to diamond three, so um, I'm like, "This is this." I'm just not gonna change anything because <laughs> I keep winning. So don't mess with a good thing. For sure. Don't mess with a good thing. So I'm just gonna just gonna ride that. I I've, have. I've been playing all this classic. I you say don't mess with that. I just I, I was playing with the sound on right. Don't mess with Tusker. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then with the the little um, what is it like the pig squeal snort sound yeah. right after? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just me and Mister Bitey. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so good. Um, but yeah, Doomsayer was definitely the the MVP. But anyway, yeah, back to the even shaman. That's that's working out absolutely perfect. So I'm not going to touch it. Um, and then another cool thing, uh, another. Uh, first time thing actually is I was chatting with Blue Train and I said like hey uh, do you want to like actually see each other not through like a monitor and he said sure so Blue Train and I went out uh, to a restaurant called the Cactus Club that's so and, cool I'm so jealous yeah. that's awesome Same. I just spur the moment sort of asked him and he said like yeah let, let's let's do it up and so we went there and uh, yeah, we just had a good time. Talked about life, talked about Hearthstone. I don't normally like talk about Hearthstone with a human, like in real life, <laughs> like, like like not through <laughs> the screen, right? right? Uh, so we were sitting there. We talked about Snap. We talked about Hearthstone. We talked about I don't the city we live in and all that kind of stuff. And yeah, it was just good. It was it was a good time. How fun? Yeah, yeah. Um, asked a couple more people to see if they could come, but uh, they couldn't make it. That's fine though. 
It was good. I, I was a little far away. I'm sorry. Little, just a little bit. <laughs> just, just a little bit. Nate, you're you're too far away now too. You're, I you're, know. I should have done it before I moved because it would have been like a. It probably would have taken about three hours, maybe a little bit more. But like, that's not that far in the big picture, right? right. Yeah. And um, Blue Train and I are like it. I drove right after work, and I think it took me about an hour because of the traffic. We've got lots of traffic, um, but. The way home was real quick. It was only like half an hour or something. Nice. Nice. Yeah. It was a good time. If there's, yeah, if they do a BlizzCon, maybe we should try to make that work or something. I don't know. I don't know. I, I love an excuse to like hang out with people in real life. That would be very fun. So, yeah. well, yeah. Uh, I think we should check out the. Uh... Welcome to the news. The news is so good. Oh yes. Speaking of blue train, <laughs> I forgot. I I thought about it after I left. I I should have walked into the restaurant and sang that. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Captics Club. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it uh, would have been a good icebreaker, right? <laughs> yeah. That's so funny. That's so great. So the world's. Uh, so yeah. The the. F- <laughs> the the pizza card back the pizza card back we so when we got the um april fool's day patch yeah, notes were think, hilarious i don't think, I think we, this is so good i don't think we talked about them on the show no because i guess came out on april fool's day yeah, it was the day after oh i could pull them up i'm sure there was like funny stuff on them uh yeah there was a lot of funny stuff one of the funny things on them was that uh they they you know said that the pineapple or the pizza card back was going to be updated with pineapples in it and you know everyone had a good laugh because april fool's day M- most of the changes that they put in in those patch notes did not come to fruition one that did however <laughs> is that the pizza card back was in fact updated to include pineapples on it it's just a glorious update it's so funny <laughs> like i thought it was a joke and then uh, they just did it anyways that's great as a pineapple enjoyer i am happy with the change <laughs> uh, so th- they did make one additional uh april fool's day actual update and that was in battlegrounds so boulder fist ogre is now in battlegrounds oh <laughs> just as boulder fist ogre you can triple boulder fist ogre the stats do not in- increase because the stats are already too good for the cost. <laughs> wow, that's so awful. Because that's good stats for the cost. Uh, so here's the yeah here's if you if you haven't seen it the patch notes for for April Fool's Day. Uh, here I'm just gonna read them. General updates: Nemzi Necrofizzle is now the default warlock hero. <laughs> <laughs> uh the march of the lich king expansion name has been updated to april of the lich king they stole About that from, time they stole that from me uh we have an exciting new game mode coming to replace wild introducing hearthstone mild only cards from the grand tournament and rastakhan's rumble are legal a, a side note there they actually uh there was a funny exchange on twitter where that might be coming to a forthcoming tavern brawl hearthstone I, mild uh, I saw that. I saw that. What, uh, it, it was it. Uh, it, it was Matt, right? Uh, Matt London, I think, I think tweeted Matt. like, "Would anyone actually like? Would anyone like to play Hearthstone Mild?" It's like, no, no, no. He's <laughs> uh, like, no, like for a tavern, Just say no kids for a tavern brawl. Oh, yeah, all right. Um, mm-hmm. Only cards from the Grand Tournament and Rossicon's Rumble Legal. Okay, uh, the Make Bad Cards button has been depreciated. Only good cards will be made from now on. Uh, <laughs> We will be conducting an audit of Hearthstone accounts for mana cheating. Any unpaid mana is owed back by the end of the Hearthstone year. Uh, uh, oh, ne- no. Nemzi is now the default shaman hero. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. Uh, new feature, streamer integration. Now everyone can be part of the streaming action. When you get paired up against a streamer, a link will appear next to their battle tag. Click on it to go directly to their stream. <laughs> Have a barrel of fun alongside them and see what their chat thinks of your plays. <laughs> that one is golden. It's, it's pretty funny. And then there's some great puns, right? Uh, uh, card updates. Quartermaster. Old. Battlecry. Give your silver hand recruits. Plus two. Plus two. Voice line. Two arms, men. New. Battlecry. Give your silver hand recruits. Plus three. Plus three. Voice line. Three arms, men. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's pretty funny. Uh, Hemet. Nesting wary. Um, dev comment. Hemet. 
Hamid's uh, effect is a bit too gruesome for Hearthstone, so we're updating it to be more appropriate for all ages. Uh, old old battle cry destroy a beast new battle cry send a beast to a farm upstate <laughs> uh, uh worgen greaser dev comment exciting news no changes planned to worgen greaser this year oh my god and that's where the pizza stone card back then was old pizza new pineapple pizza uh and then finally corrupting a card will now corrupt its art assets too <laughs> and they have a dark moon statue with like the you know broken jpeg looking thing or whatever <laughs> oh god there's a bunch yeah, i shouldn't read them all but there's bad. there's a bunch of stuff it's pretty funny uh the keyword one was really funny and and some other things so it's good it's good and one of them did in fact make its way into hearthstone the actual client i That's wonder awesome. if if whenever then the next actual patch comes out if they will revert the pizza card back because if they do we need we need dust refunds because yeah. they would have nerfed the pizza <laughs> card back that they just recently buffed. <laughs> I guess that's all like based on your opinion. Some people probably think this is a nerf. <laughs> <laughs> then they should be asking for dust now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Fixed a bug that instantly won the game after all our devs hit legend with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like such oh. a it's such a jab at Ixar, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. I love it. That's so funny. <sighs> Classic. Wow. Wow. All right. Well, I think the big news is that we had the reverts uh coming this week. And what we mean by that, if 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 you're unsure, is so this it's it's that time of year where we get the uh uh what do you call it? set rotation, right? So there's a new um, core set coming and then they take some of the old cards that had been nerfed that are rotating into wild and the idea is well they're going back to wild so they're not going to be in standard anymore so we can revert the power levels so that they're in line with other cards in wild uh that's the idea anyways and then and then all I, the I like standard streamers standard like standard christmas <laughs> yeah right well and then all the standard players freak out for a week while they deal with these cards that are <laughs> reverted and and everybody is miserable for a week um until you re reverted and largely will not see play in wild still I'm with some exceptions so these I, I i was mentioning earlier this week that i i was feeling kind of bummed because i felt like these reversions were just so boring and i feel bad saying that like a debbie downer but i really am not very impressed with like 90 percent of these there's a couple more. there's a couple so, that are good but like most of them just suck i don't so know most of them are kind of lukewarm and while i do wish that they had taken some chances and pushed you know some things that may be you know highly playable versus like kind of you know helpful but not op the, right the, the thing is what happened at last standard rotation well right? they 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 Th should never the have done that side I, of that coin is mm -hmm. unnerfing things like health us which then would break the game you know there there are some things that if they had unnerfed like drekthar if they unnerfed drekthar we would be very unhappy but not because it's boring <laughs> <laughs> well it'd be boring for a very different reason <laughs> i'm just upset that they didn't have the guts to to revert raid the docks like not even they'd have to do a full revert they could have reverted it by like half like the... and, and i think that would have been good too for sure the first thing i did was scroll through all of these just scanning for raid the docks and it wasn't there it's just sad it's a family friendly show so i'm not gonna say what i'm really so, thinking but people do still play it now i don't know why it came back but people are playing it yeah but it's weeks. not like good i don't Anyways, so here's we can go through all the cards. So I think a lot of them are not going to have very much impact for Wild. So, mm -hmm. uh, okay, so the final showdown, the Demon Hunter quest line, got reverted from draw six cards in one turn to draw four in one turn. Cool, it's still not going to see any play. All right, uh, next. Yeah. Like we weren't playing this and, in and Wild anyways, right? I mean, yeah, and and that's why it was reverted, right? Like it's it's not a problem card. Not not even a little bit. And then um, carry a fell soul. It at, used to be a six six for six, and it made a six six. Very cute. Um, and then it, they nerfed it to be all sevens, right? And uh, and now it's going back to sixes. So the people were playing this with the um, the colossal and uh, and standard, and it was just a little much, I think. So 
Anyways, so, it, somewhere wild cards there. probably happy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a fun card. Demon Hunter, unfortunately, is just not super awesome in wild because mm -hmm. it can't do some of the broken things that a lot of the other classes can do. And it's just because it hasn't been around that long, I think. And I think kind of the other kind of side of that too is we don't really see a whole lot of odd decks anymore because the you know odd play pattern is is just so different however we do see even decks yeah demon hunter doesn't really benefit from even decks because it's hero power changes not at all that's right? how you know they don't care about wild <laughs> <laughs> jeez mean <laughs> i mean again does say cost one not cost one less so uh, like it's consistent yeah <laughs> It's just a that I mean I don't know what they would have done with it and I'm just being facetious I'm not absolutely actually upset but it's like you well know. anyways these these cards I think will make zero impact on our our meta um okay. all right the next one is a druid card this is razor main battle guard it's the uh it 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 was a 2/2 two, 2 two mana 2/2 two, two quill bore the first taunt minion you play each turn costs 2 less and it is now back to being a 2/3 Mm -hmm. I think this was being played in aggro druid in standard, right? It Maybe? was. So you'd play like this and like the pack mule. So you, you could have a whole yeah. lot of, of um, taunt minions that you'd get for even cheaper. Um, I actually played really this fun... deck. It was fun. I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, it, it really was. And there's, there's a fun, um, you know, wild version too. Um, it's not as good as, you know, the other aggro druid lists which are also not seeing play because they're not very good in this meta either so <laughs> it's something that since it's been reverted you know maybe if the meta shakes up nicely we'll be able to actually play it but it'll be french playable and meta dependent yeah i don't have anything else to offer on this one i think it um uh, i think doc i think doc bumd played it in in his listener series like it's a good it's a good listener series card playing aggro oh, yeah. druid uh Anyway, it's a good card. It's just not in meta decks at the moment. Mm -hmm. Part of these, so here's my my thought process was like, if I was looking for a shakeup at all, um, these cards are not going to do it. And so it's fine that they got reverted because they're very safe. That like, this is going to make zero impact. Like I, I feel very confident in saying zero impact to wild for the last three, like just none. Uh, the last one, maybe 1% impact, but like... And so here's the, so the next one up is Hunter Epic uh, Coal Car Pack Runner. Um, originally was a two mana two three. After you cast a spell, summon a one one hyena with rush, and um, it was really good at the time in that kind of mm -hmm. mid rangey right. I think it was in the Renathal like big beast. I don't know. Um, it was playing in in the so hundred decks, and like I remember it being good. Um, where it was really strong was face hunter um, yeah. and this was oh. like oh yeah i got legend with that deck in year. standard <laughs> yeah this I was year of the griffin this was ages ago yeah um so bump, it, was bumping it up it yeah. was great so yeah. it's back to what it was uh again i i don't think that this really does anything for a while um it's a, nope. it's a decent card it just doesn't really fit because i think in wild we're looking at for more synergies than than like good stats for the cost um mm -hmm. and, and there's better it, cards in this it could be really good if you play this with the vulture and vulture and this and and only spells so that you can actually get on this in which case why are you <laughs> running vulture in that N no <laughs> right uh so here this next one actually i think will have some impact so yeah uh dragon bane shot this is a hunter spell it, that uh, is two mana, deal two damage, honorable kill, add a dragon bane shot to your hand. Um, they had nerfed it at one point to three, and so it's back to two. So when Questline Hunter was like the tier one meta deck, like this, of course, is in all those decks. Blue Train said that he's been playing Questline Hunter all week and that this reversion has been really good and making that deck viable again. Um, I like it. Yeah, and it makes so much sense. Like the the one one mana nerf was not just a one mana nerf; it was a one mana nerf every time you played. Yeah, yeah, and it was brutal. Makes it and, rough. And and I think this is still fair. 
and because the quest mm-hmm. line has been nerfed and like i there's some stuff right it, like it's not broken but he said that he's been having fun with it and that's good and i'm glad that it's playable so mm-hmm. this one I, I, this one has some impact finally i think that this is the the case of a really good revert right like yes uh, i'm yeah. glad that the other ones were reverted because like they're not going to be a problem if people wanted to play the like op decks that they were playing in standard at the time okay they can do that again um they won't be super strong but if that's not what they're looking for that's fine here's the difference this right this one is a really good one for people who just want to play wild wild and not yeah. Yeah. old standard decks with the other yeah. ones, what they could have done the reverts and not said anything, and nobody would have noticed. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Until someone discovered one off something and then thought it was a bug, right? And like it because nobody plays them anyways. So, but this is good. Yeah, I, I think I'm this glad is that they included it in the patch notes. Like if someone really liked, like I did, um, old school um, uh, quest line mage back in the day which is the very next one we'll, we'll briefly talk about um cool you could play it like mm-hmm. oh i remember that deck things are about to rotate i can play play my old standard deck that i really liked i actually really it's, enjoyed this deck back in the, in the standard oh it was um, amazingly fun i i played a lot of it i played it a lot of it on three servers because i <laughs> cracked this card i cracked yeah, this card that's right <laughs> yeah this is really fun so this is uh, uh arcanist on grasp which is the final reward for um, Sorcerer's Gambit, which is the mage quest line. So when you play Dawn Grasp, the previous battle cry was for the rest of the game, you have plus two spell damage and it's reverted back to plus three spell damage, which is really cool. And, and it actually makes me wonder, like, could we play, could this be a deck in wild? Like it, it, it could be how good is it? It's not going to be like tier one, but the more spells and stuff that we get, I think you probably could make, a viable deck actually if someone wanted to attempt that uh if the um spell discount card that i'm drawing the blank on the name of the arcane one oh um, yeah were, were to be reverted then i think that that would be yeah but but as it is we don't have the mana cheat to you know make it super viable the mana cheat that that card provided encanter's flow um was oh yeah was great um and i think that's was holding it back from true popularity and not oppression, but playability. <laughs> I'm glad they did this. So this is a good revert. And the other yeah. one that, that I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to make a difference to us or not, but I think it may was, um, Dawn grasp the hero card, uh, the hero power changed back as well. So arcane burst, uh, previously was deal two damage, honorable kill gain plus one damage and it got reverted to its original um honorable kill gain plus two damage and so this can get very large very quickly oh yeah um, which is really pretty fun in like hero power like ping mage that nobody plays but (laughs) (laughs) Um, there there are some fun builds of that though like the um, oh i tried and with the what what's it called giant um that gets discounted Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and marty made a list one time i think nhl yeah nhl made a list and it was uh I just I remember the tweet because it was like which noob lost to ping mage or something like that. And it was, <laughs> I like I think he hit legend with it or or it was like very high legend with it. And I I tried um tried pretty hard to make a deck work. <laughs> it's super fun. It's just not as uh, as good as the other tier one decks, right? But it's it's fun and there's a bunch of cards for it. I think it's something that you could play like up to like platinum maybe i don't know but i mean it's, when it's you just, have a large star bonus it doesn't matter really if you lose a bunch <laughs> yeah yeah it, i really enjoy hero power mage as a as a class archetype i played a ton of it in standard that was probably when i the most i played in standard was during that t- like when um the sunken city was out I hit legend with that druid, that just big chonky druid deck, and I got a oh, twelve yeah. win bonus streak or whatever for like just cruised into legend with a giant druid deck. And then I played the skeleton mage with the hero power stuff, and I just loved it. It was so fun, and that was probably like the best time 
I had in standard in, in ages. But uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see this come back though. I mean, I didn't think it needed to be, n well, maybe it needed to be nerfed at the time in standard, but it's appropriate, I think, to, to bring it back in wild. Anyways. Yeah. Yeah. The um, win rate of Magister Dawn Grasp in that, that deck was just really high because it would take um, things that you weren't supposed to beat and make it to where it was almost an auto win. Um, mm. And I'm being hyperbolic in, in both the never supposed to and always win, but only slightly hyperbolic. Like it, it, it turned the match up on its head. Yeah. Um, and so to keep one card from warping the format, they, they made the nerf and it was good. And I'm glad it's back. Yeah. The next one opens up some Reaver Ryan possibilities, though. Yeah, I thought That's Nate was going to be <laughs> over the moon because weren't you like, and this, this the... broke your heart when it was nerfed? I Yeah, I mean, I really liked Odd Paladin, and this is the only deck that I have built on EU that I never play. But um, this one, yeah, when they changed this, that one hurt. And uh, do I think that like odd paladin comes back probably not but maybe i mean i think this card like losing this card kind of killed that deck for and the audio listeners it's it's conviction uh it, it's been reverted back to one mana so yes it can go back in into odd paladin now yeah yeah, oh, yeah. this was a really good card in that deck like it it made the deck i think it made it really solid and once it got nerfed i think the deck became unplayable and so i think it could see play again uh definitely um speaking of odd paladin i don't think this goes in that deck but uh they no. they also reverted level up which is it was six mana now it's back to five so it says give you give your silver hand recruits plus two plus two and taunt if it said for the rest of the game, then uh, yeah, but oh, whoa, <laughs> but, but it does not, it does not. So I, I don't think that this, if odd paladin comes back, which it could, um, I think I lost to it last month on my climb. I was very shocked to, to see it. And then there was some thing that it did and I just couldn't outpace it. But uh, it, like, anyways, this, if odd paladin comes back, I don't think that level up goes in that deck, but I also don't think that it needed to be like, this is another one that's like, this is fine. Conviction, yeah. I think actually makes a legitimate difference. The like, conviction and the, and the dragon shot or whatever it's called. Um, yeah. The dragon bane, shot. dragon bane the, shot. Those, those two are, are like legit reverts. Yeah. W whether or not they make an immediate impact, like dragon bane shot. Um, the fact that it's something that we can now build around going forward and was really good at a wild deck and we can continue to iterate in. Yeah. Yeah. That was, that was a good revert. I actually, so this next one, I think will, I think that this goes in pirate rogue maybe over that, mm. over the, like, wicked stab? A, yeah, I don't think like wicked stab felt funky to me. I mean, I get it. It goes over the top, but like, I, I don't know. I kind of like this. So this is cold blood. It had been nerfed to two and now it's back to one mana. So it's, uh, Give a minion plus two attack combo plus four attack. We still didn't get the nitro boost poison, which is would have been really awesome, but uh, probably I mean, not needed. But this was a staple, like in aggressive rogue decks. It's just it's so good, and this is a a great revert. I like it. Yeah, like I wish. I mean, nitro boost was really good in Kingsbane, and I think Kingsbane is sort of like kind of dead. But I've been seeing it today. Oh. Yeah, I saw yeah, I saw it the other day too. Yeah. Nitro boost on swordfish would be pretty gnarly, right? Um, so if they wanted to bring Kingsbane back, then uh, what was it uh, leeching poison? Oh, uh, unnerfing that would would probably like single handedly bring Kingsbane back. I really like that deck, but yeah, I, I don't know. But but cold blood I'm, I'm at one, I think not, is. By the way, <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Um, so uh, here's another rogue card. It's Garot, uh, two mana epic spell. It was so it says deal two damage to the enemy hero. Shuffle three bleeds into your deck that deal two when drawn. Um, so previously was uh, oh it shuffles three now, and pre and, and I, it, used to, it got nerfed to shuffle two. Was that the difference? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and so it was a really fast like almost tempo, almost combo deck. So you'd like 
play a whole lot of um, you play field contact you play a ton of combo and battle cry cards you draw your whole deck you'd play garot you would draw more bleeds you'd have um spell damage on board and every single one of those bleeds would get that spell damage um and it was a really hard deck to play um whenever people were not used to playing it i would pretty much get free wins on ladder which was nice <laughs> um but the skilled but players would really yeah it was really powerful for those so i'm um, glad to see the the revert because that's a fun deck but i i don't know that that will will play it i don't but really think so and they didn't there. they didn't revert like octobot or whatever it was called yeah and i think octobot and i think that that needed to happen in conjunction to make this viable but i you know i mean there's always going to be new combos i guess and mana reduction is always a very scary thing to get reverted because that's how games get broken right is when stuff gets reduced super low and and that was the other part of this deck too yeah um, it's because it, you'd have field contact and a pen flinger right and then right right and octobot and octobot just reducing yeah. like your entire hand and then drawing and comboing and, and all yeah <laughs> hey loser <laughs> was it me you shadow step the efficient octobot and then you pen flinger it again so that you get more discounts and yeah it got, yep. it got wild yep that would make an impact <laughs> that yeah it probably would it probably would um okay We've got some other uh older cards that are are also seeing a, a revert um and i don't know that these are going to make an impact either but they're pretty i'm glad that they're unnerving them <laughs> so uh the one that i'm talking about first uh in that is evil miscreant uh so you know it had been nerfed to being a three mana one four it's now back to a three mana one five still combo add two random lackeys to your hands ah lackeys the things that we we play with all the time in wild right <laughs> right <Yeah. y> <laughs> when i saw this revert i got really confused because i'm like i like i thought they were only reverting stuff that had uh in, in this like last like two years and I was very, I'm like, it's been way longer than two years since Evil Miscreant, right? Right? <laughs> what? <laughs> but yeah, th this thing was broken at five health. Like, it, in standard anyway, right? Well, Ga so, I mean, Galakrond was like pretty, Galakrond Rogue was pretty good, right? Yeah. And oh, I enjoyed and it. definitely went in that. And, and it was really fun. I'm glad it was there. We still will not play with this one. But I'm glad it was unnerved if people want to live out nostalgic days. Uh, the next one, this one's not an older one, but, but we're we're by class. So that's why it's mixed in like that one. Wow. So his Forsaken Lieutenant uh, had been nerfed to cost three mana. Now it costs two mana again. Still a 2-2 two -two undead with stealth. And of course, after you play a death rattle minion, come a 2-2 two -two copy of it with Rush. Uh, so this was um, used and abused in Death Rattle Rogue, because if this is becoming, a, you know, copy of a Death Rattle minion, he all of a sudden gets like multiple copies of that Death Rattle off, especially with the location. So it was a good card. We may see it in uh, like Mine Rogue okay. now that it's been Please, um, discounted. No, but that's the only place I can really see it. If it a, a, competitive impact here if it went anywhere mine rogue would be the place probably the other one i my kid wanted to hear some of our parody songs the other <laughs> day and i pulled up that one that craig did about the uh uh kobold uh it was the four mana three three that copied the death rattle from your hand uh, oh yeah right monsters behind you uh yeah and i can't remember its name I can I can hear the song in my head of, and Craig <laughs> singing it so like beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll uh, I'll play it at the tail end of the show if anyone wants to hear it. Uh, it's really funny, but but anyways, we played it in that right because you could make giant death rattles. Um, Cobalt illusionist. illusionist. Thank you, thank you. Yes, we're a bunch of old people over here. Can't remember anything. I can't remember what I did last week um <laughs> let alone card names i just know what they say oh monsters behind you and yeah now. we know them by get down <laughs> get down <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> or like, oh, you know, the stabby man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Some of them we don't even call like, oh, you mean two arms, man? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That one. Jeez. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. I don't know. We'll, we'll Flappy see. Bird, yeah. yeah. We'll see if, if, uh, if this makes a comeback, if anywhere it would be like your mind rogue, which like, ugh, so. that deck is was haunting me today. It's mm. I've seen it on ladder a bunch of times and I just know I'm doomed. <laughs> the end is coming. Yeah, yeah that one's um, that one's pretty tricky to, to play around. One revert that I'm very excited about in conjunction with new cards is this next one so um tame the flames which is the final phase of uh command the elements the shaman quest line is being reverted um it used to be play three cards with overload to progress to the, the next one which is when you get brucon so now it has been unnerfed to only needing two overload cards Hooray! a lot of the new um shaman cards are things that like make overload cheaper and uh you know have uh benefits if car if you are overloaded and stuff like that so um will that plus the overload cards that we already have be playable in wild maybe maybe if i'm you know <clears throat> having the copium <laughs> maybe i but, like it when um, there's new archetypes like yeah because this hasn't been played in wild in in a long long time right um yeah it was for a and minute but it didn't last very long and it was really hard to play as well. Yes. And so if you can't remember what the end reward is for overloading yourself all these times with the quest line, it's that whenever you play a spell, you play it twice. So um, you are playing a lot of overload spells. You end up overloading yourself a lot too. Um, but of course we have a lot of ways to free up overloaded mana crystals. So it, it could be a really fun new new slash revised archetype. Yeah, it was a cool like Maybe. burn combo deck. Yeah, and it was I would hard love to play to see that again. I crafted this one in gold because the artwork is so awesome. Like the artwork on this one actually is super good, and in gold it's really cool because Brucon is like blue, but there's flames all over it, and so the blue and orange like there's just a lot of contrast. I really like it. Nice. Mm -hmm. you know what we say when the art's good and the card is bad right <laughs> but, but this, but one, was this one was it pretty good yeah yeah i'll, I'll i wouldn't <laughs> mind trying it out and i think that you're right with the new cards it could be something maybe mm -hmm. potentially and if not uh, at least we'll have fun finding out yeah um another thing uh, in shaman that has been unnerfed is granite forgeborn um so it was and is a four mana elemental uh, with battle cry reduce the cost of elementals in your hand and deck by one. It used to be a four four. That's what it was nerfed to. And now it has been that nerf has been reverted and it is now again a four five elemental. Uh, elemental Shaman was really good. Mm -hmm. I played a lot of that in standard at the time. Me too. I actually played an elemental Shaman in wild featuring this card heavily like two or oh, three months ago blaze callers were cool <laughs> yeah so uh, i didn't push with that one a lot but like it, elementals are always fun to come back to like you never know when they incrementally add more whenever that'll just like spiral out of control again and granite forge born will definitely be played in that if they do yeah it's got really good stats plus the effect if it was just in your deck it'd be one thing but if it's it's your deck and your hand like that's really mm. good that's really good yeah it's a good card just doesn't it doesn't have a home right now but that doesn't mean yeah. that it couldn't and i think that one is it, it's a sleeper all right the next two are a little bit scary uh this I one mean, i've been seeing a lot of them <laughs> me too yeah <laughs> all right so dark pact um this is one mana warlock spell destroy a friendly minion and initially it was restore eight health to your hero and then it got nerfed to four health and it made it like almost unplayable. We used to use this way back in the day in like cube warlock and, mm -hmm. and then that deck was not super viable anymore. And then it was played super heavily in demon seed warlock because your health total is changing all the time, but it's dangerous to go too low. Uh, plus there's flesh giants, right? Every time your health changes and stuff. And so dark packed healing for eight, it's like it's nutty it takes the downside of of warlock and like 
it just gets rid of it. And now it's back <laughs> in conjunction with the demon seed being back. Uh, so the demon seed, I think was one of our first, if not the first banned card in wild, right? Um, yeah, the second one right after stealer of souls. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So demon seed is the warlock quest line. Uh, previously was take, uh, okay. No longer banned in wild. It's now take 10 damage on your turns instead of eight, instead yeah. of eight. So, okay. So it's back. It's technically so 30 damage total. It's, it's mm -hmm. been nerfed. It's, it's been nerfed, right? So before it was take eight damage on your turns and now it's take 10 damage on your turns for each phase. So it's a little bit more difficult to complete. It's not insane to complete though. So I ran into Ben from work on ladder yesterday. And of course, as soon as I saw his Ben from work and then I saw the demon seed quest come up, I'm like, of course he's playing <laughs> <laughs> the demon seed. I like, and, and, and I lost. Um, <laughs> yeah. And then we, we chatted about the deck after his, his version is actually kind of neat. It doesn't have like the giants in it at all. Hmm. All it is, is it, it's just removal. The entire deck is removal and healing. That is it. And then it just relies on the, um, the fatigue, fatigue at the end. Um, mm -hmm. and, and it works because I, after he beat me with it, I played it and I mean, I went two and oh with it, but that's very small sample size. <laughs> but yeah, this is back. I have seen so many of this. I felt like on my climb to diamond three in the last couple of days that it felt like this, but it's not actually, it felt like it was every second game that mm -hmm. I was, I was versing this because everyone wants to play with it, right? It's like, Oh, you got your old toy back. And I whether still... or not it sticks around, I don't know. Um, you, you could race it down pretty quickly, mm -hmm. which, which really like that, like that's, that's good. But sometimes I lost to it. So I don't know. We'll see if it is staying yeah. power. I still have my I... golden one. Me too. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I played a little bit of um, Schmoopy's version, uh, which does have the giants. Um, and I, I, so I played 10, I went five and five, but a lot of those were not exact mirror matches, you know, different builds uh, of the demon seed, but demon seed warlocks. So um, I, I think I was slightly under 50% against them and then, you know, 50% overall. So um, it's probably like, whatever however that that works out um, <laughs> one more on each side um it was fun i think right now it's hard to tell because i play against so many of them um if it needs a nudge i kind of don't think it does um but if it were to get any sort of nudge i think something like your health having to actually change versus just like whether you've taken damage so like if you have armor the armor being chipped away, oh. not counting, um, is how I would do that, which would in effect nerf crystallizer. Um, but I don't think they necessarily need to nudge it. So I think it's, too, that's how I would do it. I might eat my words, but for now I, it seems fine to me. Yeah. People um, are playing it because it's viable and it's back. So we're seeing more of it. Uh, that, and I think that's okay. Yeah, I'm reserving judgment on it personally, just because I haven't played enough since the reverts hit a couple of days ago. Um, I'll play a bunch over the weekend and then I'll get back to you with my thoughts next week because I imagine I'm going to see a bunch of it between D5 and Legend. But we'll see. It doesn't look broken to me on its face. I, and this next card in conjunction, so Stealer of Souls um, is no longer banned either. Uh, previously it was, uh, six mana four attack, six health. After you draw a card, change its cost to health instead of mana. And then you could like, there was the combo with T wretched tiller, right? Where you could just go like the OTK combo or whatever. It was goofy. We have a YouTube video on it that has a lot of views. I was like the one video on our channel has like a bazillion views on it. Cause like played it the first day that it came out. Cause it was super busted and hilarious. Um, so this is now four mana to attack six health. The first card you draw each turn costs health instead of mana. But with the new change, like you it's actually take the, the damage, card. right? Yeah. Oh, oh, and it's, and it's not every card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't draw multiple cards and then just drop them all. 
Yeah. This is why you've not been seeing it because yeah. you can't just steal your soul's plot twist, play out your whole hand. <laughs> yeah, like, no, that, right. that can't happen anymore. It's only the first card you draw. That so was pretty good, good silly. Nerf. Yeah, this is good. And I don't think it's going to see play. And I'm but, not at all, but I'm glad that it's not banned anymore. I, the idea of banning cards in a format that is eternal is kind of not super great. So um anyways all right all right here's a nostalgic card right hydra yeah. you want to you want to talk about this one <laughs> yeah sure fiery winax is back yeah so this Huzzah. this card was considered broken for the longest time right <laughs> it, it, uh it, it was two mana right everyone knows fiery war axe two mana three attack and you've got two durability on it. And it just worked as a great aggressive tool and control tool. It was just so cheap that you were always, if you're in an aggro mirror and you got this up, you could maintain your board with removing their things. And that's why they called it Fiery Winax. <laughs> you just won the game already. It got super power crept in this last set. And so I think that they had to revert it because like it didn't make sense to to have it at three mana anymore because there was other cards that do the same thing for the same yeah, cost, right? Yeah, exactly. There was no excuse to keep it nerfed anymore uh, after that. I remember I was experimenting when they nerfed this. I was so sad because I had played so much Pirate Warrior. I started playing um, King's Defender <laughs> instead. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. but um, Because well, it was the same cost as the new... Mm -hmm. um fiery war axe and it had the the bonus of which we had the taunt minion on board yeah um but uh yeah and, it's, i'm just very happy to see this and pirate decks in particular it was basically a two mana fireball just you know yeah like, spread across two turns it was mm -hmm. incredible yeah two mana deal six absolutely great you could upgrade it too yeah this this next one i i think like it should have been on the uh april fools day <laughs> update like this is ridiculous i don't even understand why like <laughs> i i don't get it i don't get it this is everyone <laughs> so so the demon seat so while stealer of souls may have in effect been worse on commander worse on commander has been completely unnerfed it's bonkers so you know the after you summon a, another minion, give it rush, which was like the fourth or fifth rework. No longer, it has now been reverted to a three mana two three. No tribe. Whenever you summon a minion with three or less attack, give it charge. Bust out your frothing berserkers. It's time. <laughs> yeah. Um. Th there, there was. This would uh, only be good if it was a pirate. So there, there was at least a um uh. A, a bug i don't know if it's been fixed so that in such a way that if you were to buff up something like a frothing berserker over to attack and then copy it um which we can do now um oh um, yeah with the dragon dude whatever is yeah yeah summon a copy of a damaged minion right exactly yeah. Yeah. so even though the original one had been given charge the copy was not getting that charge and since whenever it was made it had over two mana it was not being given charge. So that, that was a bug. They are working on it or may have deployed it already. I haven't, mm. haven't seen, um, but that was keeping that from being, you know, working as intended and thus being, you know, memed on because, because this is still not going to be like, you know, meta or powerful, but like, it's going to be fun to do. It'd be good if <laughs> in, in, in rogue, like pirate rogue, right. Cause all your little minions are like three attack or less. <laughs> yeah right if they all have charge I, but like this is not i i don't i patron warrior back in the day ages ago right we're talking about like black rock mountain ages ago yep. um you could do some stuff with patron grim patron and whirlwind effects and like make a big board and they all have charge but like it was skill testing at the time and uh it had a horrible win rate overall because nobody was not everyone was good with the deck. Yeah, it was right? it was kind of tricky and and it was kind of draw dependent and it was like but but when it worked it 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 really worked and yeah. and then this card got nerfed to death. Like this was the original like like we've been dunking on this card for years, right? Because uh like whenever they 
nerf something into oblivion like the joke is oh it got worse on commanded <laughs> because it's like nerf to the point of unplayability that's this card so it's kind of funny having it go back but there's no way that patron warrior is even a thing anymore right and like i i don't know i mean I i'll play with it till i get one win <laughs> and then I just yeah. say that i did it <laughs> yeah I, I think that the combo needed like um Tharsan, so like <clears throat> that that kind of tells you. <laughs> oh gosh! Oh, well, there you go. It'll be. <laughs> oh, so it's not all right. Well, <laughs> I, poor warrior is still unplayable as a class, and especially in wild. Oh well. Uh, watch post. Uh, more Sean. Watch post is the larger one. Three mana. Um, three five post. health. Yeah, the the big post, right? So it had been nerfed to be a three four, and now it's back to being a three five. It says can't attack after your opponent plays a minion, summon a 2-2 two, two grunt. So this was back in Barons. Uh, Barons, and it was seeing some play, but not a lot, but some. And but like the 2 3 one was just better, right? So Yeah. Uh, anyways. There, there was also a four one. Um, so an, an even larger post, yeah. um, <laughs> an even larger green post. That's what it should have been called. An even larger, <laughs> even post. larger post. Watch post, larger watch post, even larger watch post. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frost Death Knight has been unnerfed. That's right, Ice Revenant was preemptively nerfed for Frost chill. Death Knight <laughs> in standard. I did. From <laughs> whenever he casts a Frost Spell, game plus two plus two, two plus one plus one. It is now back, and we will not notice it, but, I mean, it's an elemental, so, like, if Elemental Mage does something, maybe eventually, but, or, you know, like, if, if you're doing Elemental Shaman and you're only running Frost Spells for whatever reason, I don't know. I don't know. I saw someone did well with an even frost death knight, which okay. this could go in, I guess, but I don't think it holds a candle to like even unholy. Right. Yeah. So, but this is on my watch list, I think for the future, because there are even in odd cost cards year after year after year. And at some point, like frost could be good. Like this mm -hmm. can get, this has the capability of getting scary big, right? Especially with a zero mana spell to like refresh your, your mana. Mm -hmm. It's a frost spell and there's some things. How good is it actually? Like, I don't know, but it's okay. Like I, I if I was going to try to make that work, that's where I'd put it. I think yeah. not that that's saying much, but well, and and it being a four mana four or five, you know, good good decent stats, but yeti, it's, <laughs> yeah, and never forget. I, I think if if we were to <laughs> to to have it be impactful to have, even if it was just was still one one, but it was a two mana two three, I, I think maybe we'd see it then, just because it'd be fast enough to get out. Um, four is kind of slow and wild. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. So I, I don't think that it'll be too impactful even down the line. Um, but I don't think that's a bad thing. Like, yeah, no, it was completely broken whenever they were doing like the the testing. Uh, I don't um, know about in that. In standard, but... in standard. Oh, oh, in standard, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah, yeah, is yeah, why yeah. they preemptively nerfed it, right? Um, and so I'm glad that the, it didn't completely it break standard funny. like that. But <laughs> we were all confused. At first, when when they nerfed her, like no one's playing this card. Why are you nerfing it? <laughs> oh, yeah. that's why. <laughs> isn't this like uh, isn't this next one like a, a rogue card? <laughs> I thought it was. Or what? Or what were we seeing this played in a bunch of uh, shaman or shaman? It was like evolve shaman mm -hmm. or whatever. Evolve shaman. Mm. Yeah. So faceless corruptor has been unnerfed. Five mana, four four. No longer. It is now again a five four. I loved this card. Yeah. And Battle Cry, transform one of your minions into a copy of this. And this is from Descent of Dragons. This is a really old unnerf. Love to see it. Yeah, that's fine. I okay. All right, here's the the last, well, like sort of second to last, I guess. But hey. uh Goldshire Knoll is back to 10, which I think is very good for us, right? Even lock, right? Yeah. That's its home. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's the uh, 
Yeah, t- gold gold char and old, 10 mana, 5-4 with rush, cost one less for each other card in your hand. This is like a staple in even Warlock when that was a deck. And it, it's it's when this card got hit, it's like, oh, that's a bummer. Um it, you know, you because it was just a staple in that deck and it, it didn't feel busted, it just felt like that's its home, right? So I'm I'm good with this one. I think this is fine coming back to even Warlock. Um, yeah, I think we knew whenever this was nerfed that it was going to be unnerfed, and we're like, yeah, okay, we'll we'll be without it for like a couple months, but it'll just be put, back. yeah, yeah, put it on the back burner for now. We we'll play it again soon. Yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep. Uh, and they delivered. And then there's one last card um, that didn't get touched yet, but it's on the coming soon list. So DM. it's just there in a dev comment. It says Pandaren Importer will also be reverted in a patch after it has rotated to wild. I didn't even remember that it got nerfed, um, to be honest. We, I don't remember what it is. It's the 2 3 that discovers a spell or something from a different class, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, uh, uh, so I think it was from your same class, but that you didn't play in your deck or something like that. I remember the art. <laughs> it was, it was specifically <laughs> nerfed because. Um, it completely broke standard whenever there was like a really small card pool. Mm. Um, yeah, it was a three mana two four that discovered a spell that didn't that you did not run in your deck. So small card pool. If you're running all of the spells that were there and rogue in particular, you were guaranteed to discover something that broke it. I don't remember that they caught in like the theory crafting streams and then we're like, cool, it's done. We're we're just gonna change Pandaren and Porter. And um, now it's back and it's not going to see play because we have how many spells in wild? Like all of them. Exactly. So we won't we won't see this see play too much. But uh, if you want to play some sort of uh, generate spells rogue or other card, it's it's going to be back. Yay, I guess. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. Okay, I <laughs> it's a history lesson for kind of like the past two years in standard. I think is is what a lot of this uh, <laughs> yeah version is. <laughs> I feel very lukewarm about the whole thing. I'm happy about Goldshire Knoll, which is really not a surprise to anyone. I'm happy about Conviction. If Odd Paladin makes a comeback, that would be cute. I think that the deck could be viable again. I think I have I haven't looked at it with thoughts like uh, with the new cards um i haven't had time to do theory crafting stuff so maybe i'll try to do some of that over the weekend but odd pally could possibly make it come back the demon I, seed I played against one today um okay cool uh I'll, I'll reserve my thoughts on demon seed until next week because i'm that's being played a lot right now and i i need to experience it before i stick my foot too far in my mouth yeah. on, on that the one. reason i'm okay I, with that one and it is mostly because anytime there's something that gets changed that messes with our meta and switches it up and just makes it different that like i like that yeah i do too i think that i i am a little afraid that the list will get refined and then it'll be like super oppressive right now people are just trying it again because it's basically like a new car yeah because we can actually play it um i'm more concerned with dark pack to be honest it could be bad yeah 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 dark pack is a little bit scary so the demon seed like okay you have to take it it's the risk reward payoff right where okay you got to take damage and then you make yourself susceptible to some burst with pirate rogue or we were using questline hunter back in the day we were just talking about that and and that's the risk you take right but with cards like dark pack like one mana heal eight like holy cow um and you can kill like a mistress and actually heal 12 right yeah and it had synergy with your giants with your flesh giants and so the dark pact is is the one that is a little bit scarier for me um I think that I'm excited the most maybe about Tame the Flames, the the Shaman uh, quest line card. I think that there's some potential maybe for a new deck or a new version of that deck to like come out. That would be interesting. 
uh, I hope that Forsaken Lieutenant doesn't see any play in Minor Rogue because it's yucky. Um, <laughs> Cold Blood could be interesting. Dragon Bane Shot is is good. The rest I don't really care about. Yeah, so. I, I think this one was a lot of just kind of cleaning up things that didn't need to be nerfed anymore. A couple of interesting things. It seems like nothing has like completely warped the meta, which I think is probably a good thing. Like if Drek'thar was unnerfed, if it was used for things like Embiggen Druid, it wouldn't have been nerfed in the first place. But it, well, what it, it was used for in an hour but it was, format in particular is the, you know, the, the frog shaman. But well, that and so, Sorcerer's Apprentice, right? It was playing yeah. like in, in that uh, deck, but now that Sorcerer's Apprentice got destroyed, like... I don't know. I mean, Drek'thar was still super busted. Yeah, I, I think but, with Rock Shaman, it would it would have gotten way too nutty. Well, especially with the reversion of the of the Shaman quest line, right? That that in conjunction would have probably been oppressive. Mm-hmm. Mm. So the the exciting things are things that may have been you know too broken and thus made it not fun. Meanwhile, Wild is largely more of the same um, with the exception of the demon seed kind of being back. Um, and I think that's kind of okay because we're about to see new cards. That's what we should really be excited for. This not breaking wild. I think is probably <laughs> a good thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. And no, all you probably, you're right. You're right. So th- this isn't the new cards, right? Like if, if anything was too exciting here, that would probably be a bad thing. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I, you know what? You know what it is. I'm just sad. I'm 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 over here pouting because they didn't touch rate the docs. That's that's truly what it is. These other ones they feel fine to me. They feel kind of boring. But like I'm not I'm not like elated. But I'm not upset by any of them either. I think they're fine. Mm-hmm. When I think last time when they reverted um, Kalthos, like I was livid because yeah. Dru- it was Druid doing broken Druid things, and I was like, you got to be joking me. Do you remember why we nerfed this? And I'm usually not big on nerfs I, I i typically don't like like i'd rather them do buffs than nerfs but when they brought kelthus back i was like that's a mistake that's just a mistake yeah that, that you, you're gonna regret that and then they fixed it but um some of these like they feel fine i'm not too worried about them i think, I think yeah. they'll be okay and and i think that's what we want i don't I want so. my cards in my collection to be banned because that feels bad so mm-hmm. And Especially golded legendaries. <laughs> golden legendary. <laughs> yeah, and, and I hope that the demon seed warlock doesn't get like too refined or too too wild. Um, especially with the like fatigue cards that Warlock is about to get from the new set. Um, you know, like I, I hope it doesn't get out out of control, but if it does, I think they'll like yeah they're like they're not gonna ban it again no but they'll uh, they'll they'll watch it i think I, they they have I to be so. careful i think with some of these cards but remember when when they nerfed quest the quest line um mage way back when uh the open the way gates mm-hmm. and everyone was complaining like oh you only tweaked it by two man i don't think that that's enough do you really you guys didn't even really change it but it was enough it to was, like yeah. It, it didn't look like a lot on paper, but when you played it, like, hey, that's an extra turn or two. Like, okay, yeah. it still feels awful to lose against, but like, it's not as oppressive. And so, you know, I mean, it's it's uh, unfortunate when they take a card and make it just unplayable, right? So, right. I, I hope they I, never I, revert that one. <laughs> that one I'm okay with. The parrot needed to die, I think, was the big one. Like, I still don't like losing to questline mage taking infinite turns, but it's a lot di- more different now. You have to use like R- Romath and some mm-hmm. other funky stuff. I, Potion is still a little bit of a problem too, maybe, but it's a lot harder to do than it was. Mm-hmm. And and Romath comes later, so like you have a chance to actually get under it. And if they get there, it's it's more of like a shutter walk than it is like. Part Something of the that you're playing a ton. You only have one Romath versus two parrots. Yeah, although mm. I think what I see people doing, I think the problematic cards like still probably Bran. Yeah. Astalor could just die. I, I, <laughs> that card could be deleted and I would be happy. I loved it at first. In fact, when that set came out, 
that was my Insta day one gold craft. Like that was the one card. Cause I knew like, this is busted. It's, it's really good. It's busted. And it's still in every single deck ever. Like, ah, uh, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so that could, that card could, could die a, a fiery death and I'd be happy with that. But I know I'm, I'm playing so, it, but it's cause it's good. So. <laughs> with, with the, uh, the new expansion coming up, what you know you were saying that astalor was your day one golden craft mm. what is your day one golden craft going to be for festival of legends i think i don't know i haven't had a good enough chance to like look through everything i actually really like the warlock um legendary song but that, uh that's gonna be mine symphony of sins yep. yeah i really like that one but i think i need to spend more time it's kind of crazy i can't believe that it's happening on tuesday oh um, that's so fast right i didn't pre-order yet oh wow it's coming up it, it part of it i think for me is just life has been busy work has been super busy and sort of changes everything and we didn't get a chance to participate in the pre-release stuff this time around and so we didn't look i think too closely at the cards yet um so soon i, I wish i had a better answer for that but like i'm not that familiar with them yet yeah, i gotta so do the that. sins does look good because you get like so the many. six other cards right like it's that is a solid choice because you just that's value yeah right yeah, so I, I did um, like a standard review of the new cards, like right before I went back to to work with uh, some friends in like just via text. Oh, and, fun! And Discord the other day. Um, I just stopped by too. Yeah, oh, that was I. A blast. You know what? I think I saw that. Yeah, you you mentioned you're doing that, and I didn't get a chance to swing by, but yeah, that's really so cool. If if I hadn't done that, I probably wouldn't have as you know firmer grasp on what was kind of coming up. Um, for our format, though, I'm really looking forward to Symphony of Sins. Just like I think that you can kind of throw that in most places and be happy. And then the Overload Shaman stuff. Like we we have the quest line. We have so much like other Overload stuff. Like I I, I think I'm actually gonna like play a uh, Tunnel Trog. Like that's gonna yeah. be fun. <laughs> Will it be good? Probably not. But like I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Oh yeah, I see. Yeah, in chat, the uh, the the neutral card that draws the weapon. Yeah, we talked about that. A, I don't know a week or two back, being like a scary mm-hmm. card, and I uh, that one makes me quite nervous. Um, it's so druid doing druid things. Yeah, except oh, faster. You like, can draw oh. a twig and sphere so easily. Yeah, it's so not cool. actually right now. If you have pre-ordered, you can uh, start a fireside gathering and open early. I opened mine a little bit before the show, and um, you know I pre-ordered both, so I had uh, you know the ten golden packs and the you know pre-orders. So I got uh, two signature cards. One of them was uh, Tony, King of Piracy, which just looks so cool. I really want that so card cool. really bad too. Like I I, I actually really want to play it. Yeah. So I can't wait. Then the other one that I got in signature was DJ Mana Storm, which is so fun. That's also cool. Looks really cool. I don't know that I'm going to play him in a whole lot for a little while, but like, looks he fun, looks though. kicking rad. <laughs> oh, here. I found my card. I found my card. I'll put it up on the Ooh. screen. Yes. But it's only, be- roll. it's only because of the art. <laughs> <laughs> Just rolling in the the dust over there, hey? Doing it just for the art. There you go. Oh, funky fan. Oh, my. <laughs> Funk That fin. does look like it would be amazing in gold because it's already shiny. Oh, gosh. That's, yeah, I don't know. That's... Uh, Although I will say, you talk about S tier. Have you, have you gone in game to look at the new portraits? Yes. They are so good. Nice. The I the Death Knight or the Death Knight one I don't like very much, but the Ragnaros one with the uh Swagneros, right? With the uh, with the hat and the trumpet. Oh my gosh. What do they call him? They so cool. they call him uh is it Ragnaros Jazz Lord or something like that? It's so f- it's amazing. Vibe Lord, something like that. 
Is it from the rewards track or do you have to buy it? I don't know. I'll put it up on the screen if anyone wants to see it. I Swagnerosa. That's just what I called him. I think it's called something different, but it's like Ragnaros Jazz Lord or something like that. Um, Curiously, they still with this patch did not add like the tavern regular or the other tavern thing for getting every 100 and 200 levels from the rewards track. Oh, there's still not one of those for for Death Knight for for both of those. Oh, you're right. Oh. Hmm. I, I actively looked because like I waited to get my tavern regular achievement this time uh, just to see if they would and, th and they didn't. So hmm. soon, please. Yeah, I just unlocked that actually and I got the boring paladin one, but I was playing a lot of paladins, so I thought, oh, whatever. All right, sorry for the Hearthstone noises, but I'm pulling it up so I can put it up on the screen. Um, let me just uh, do that on the uh, on the OBS over here. Obs. Come on, Hearthstone, you can do it. I've actively really enjoyed the feature to get the random hero. Like, I just, I love that so much because it's like a surprise every time. I'm like, what am I going to get next? It's really pretty fun, actually. And sometimes I'm like, I didn't know this one existed or that I had it. <laughs> uh -huh. I hope that they stop making these goofy, like the 3D ones are okay, but the these chonky like borders are so bad. So yeah. bad. So, uh, so he's called Jasneros the Vibe Lord. <laughs> Swagneros is better. I don't know. Whatever. Um, I agree. Jasneros the Vibe Lord. But that's oh, that looks amazing. That's so good, right? It's so. Oh, good. so it's the tavern pass. It says. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, and so, it's <laughs> his band includes Major Domo Executus on bass, Baron Geddon on piano, and Rockinishu on drums. That's so good. <laughs> so, so we did definitely bury the lead a little bit. There is another portrait that is earnable on the tavern pass. <laughs> Oh. That is going to have me rushing to level one. <laughs> and oh, that my. is Dame Groovy Bark. Oh no. It's so <laughs> it's so cursed. It's so cursed. Oh my god. She's see incredible. <laughs> Let's see this. <laughs> oh Wait, my god. She, she just said the hills are alive with the sound of music. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> she's tree grandmother. Wow. But like she's tree grandma. She's the teen the hippie now. grandma. Wow. Get back on the lawn is what <laughs> says in the text. You don't want to miss her set list. Oh my gosh. It's very like Partridge family. Uh, wow. Wow. And and of course, you know, since it's the 60s, her um, tree foliage is uh, fashioned into an afro. Love it. Cool. that's pretty great yeah wow uh the death knight one i thought was kind of like eh. All that I, have destroyed. I couldn't stop staring at it oh hey i kind of like that it's, death metal king it's all right i like that the microphone is coming out of the end of the sword that's so that's so metal <laughs> <laughs> if anything's metal that's that's metal that is pretty cool or as nathan explosion would say that's brutal uh, um, <laughs> so brutal <laughs> God, I love that show um, Emo Rock Arana She's a solid one too yeah. These ones are pretty good the world is pain, but the fell heals all. The, You know uh, I've been playing emo, with Sound but... Off Sound Off recently um, in the, and, and I finally heard Rokara What did she say she, Her greetings is like Do you need a hero Something like that. Something yeah. like, and I just I started laughing because it's like that. I need a hero. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I was like, so, oh, that's genius. So Rexar is rockabilly Rexar, but folk music is not rockabilly music. No, they they're confused. They did not watch your video. They did not. It is unfortunate for them. Although although we have uh, Elvis Rexar is pretty funny though. Like <laughs> it is. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Nipple ring Elvis. Uh, wow. If they had gone rockabilly with with Hunter, I, I would have been happy. But this one is really cool. Yeah, Technomancer Sarad, and he's like doing, he's like scratching the the 
records, right? That's what it like looks like turntables. Like arcane magic on top, though. Ar- like, oh, so cool. Arcane turntables. That's so rad. This one is really cool looking. They, they did good on the animation as well. Although I wish that he was like doing the wrist, like spinning them, you know. But mm-hmm. maybe that's too mm-hmm. much to too much to animate. It, it would have had to have had a chunkier border for that, huh? Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Disco Hammer Cario, but Hammer has a disco ball at the end of it. <laughs> Glorious. <laughs> She's got the groove, the moves, and if any of that fails, a giant hammer. Wow. <laughs> Three great tastes that taste great together. That's amazing. Oh, this this one I think is... These are fun. This one's pretty cringe, but... Fun. Yeah, I I think the whole priest like it's Justin band, it's like, Justin they, they Bieber and it. <laughs> <laughs> it is. They leaned into the cringe a little hard for me on these for sure. <laughs> and I typically like. I will stuff. never play that hero portrait. <laughs> well, I no. guess I might if it's on random. Yeah. Who brings a microphone knife to a rap battle? She does. I wish that they had done MC Blingtron though for the hero yeah. instead of like Garona's cool, but like MC Blingtron is awesome. Like that yeah. is so cool. That that's a really fun card. Uh okay, Shaman. There's one more. There's one more for Shaman that that we missed. It's uh Smooth Jazz Morgul. Yeah. Which is pretty pretty good actually. The glasses really make it. Mm-hmm. That's what a good vibe on that one. Morgul is so oh. cool. He doesn't even bat an eye when asked to play a bass instrument in an environment without oxygen. <laughs> that's that's funny. that's that's one that I'll I'll probably put on my my favorite rotation to to put into random. I love that there's bubbles coming out of the saxophone. It's yeah, it's f- funny. He's got a little fishy friend hanging out with him. Uh, all right. What is the warlock? Opera diva Tamsin. She will shatter souls and eardrums in concert. <laughs> oh, okay. what are the emotes going to be like? Gosh, hers are always pretty <laughs> gnarly. And then and in opera does fit with her being a diva. Yeah. Oh, we got we got two with uh with warrior as well. And then I got the Rokara one. That slow me down. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't. I do like this portrait a, a lot though. It's very rock. I like that. Mm-hmm. Me um, too. Okay, here's etc. This one's pretty sweet. This portrait is rad. Like, yeah, it's just so cool with all the f- like lights coming out from all the drums and stuff. Like, this is really cool. I love this one. It's got a like a a ship steering wheel as a as like a symbol over here. It's pretty funny. Oh yeah. That's- so they did mention, and I can't remember wh- which was the other one, but etc. And one of the other ones that that say that they're earnable on the tavern pass. Mm-hmm are actually um like store purchases if i recall correctly oh, i want to say etc was one so um i mean I'll, I'll still be getting it but if you're expecting it from the rewards track definitely look at the, the patch notes first i love this one rock angel and hilda the sky's the limit when it comes to her rock star potential this card look or this this hero portrait's rad oh yeah this is this cool. one's really cool all right just yeah, like looking forward to all these now these the rock ones are good like i really mm-hmm. like these to the etc and the and hilda are great and the rokar is good although this one would be better if it didn't have the barons in the back if it had like the other lights and stuff oh like yeah stage and lights or big like a big amp or something right i, I, I will say rocker rokara does look really like mad max uh, in that's true there, that is which true which i think is pretty cool not necessarily what i w- was expecting from it but really cool anyway <laughs> the tur- the the coin is vinyl <laughs> yeah that is gonna be my new favorite one wait what's the other one? Oh, it's etc okay a bottle of water costs how much <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's funny that that's all right the, i like the vinyl is pretty good though that's pretty funny yeah i i still just really want like a way to customize the the coin per um Deck. deck yeah i would see so many more coins that way but as it is cat coin always cat coin yeah i always laugh at that all right here's the the card back all right with the record player on it and it's got like the whoa. the led lights or whatever it's kind of fun whoa mm-hmm. 
Oh, and speakers that. up at the top too. It's yeah, like and they, they what a boom. strange combo. Yeah, they're moving. Yeah, that's, that's pretty fun. Base. That's pretty fun. Uh, okay, this one goes with the war or the demon hunter hero. That one spoke to me. I love it. The it's got like the tails, the fox tails on each side. It's kind of fun. Oh yeah. Uh, her guitar is called Sorrow Chord, and it gently weeps on itself. <laughs> on itself. <laughs> wow, that's unfortunate. Some Eric Clapton. Uh, oh, references that's... in there. Yep. Oh, here's the ETC one. Oh, that one's kind of fun. I like the lightning. Oh, and the drum, the Whoa. drum like pops on that one too. Mm-hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh, there's some new ones in here. Our May 2023 Brook and Branch. That one's really pretty cool. Do you think they'll ever change it so you can see your own card back? I at this point I'm thinking not. Just probably not a a good use of dev time. But like I. I, I want it. <laughs> <laughs> they would have to change how things shuffle into your deck. If they were going to turn the deck and put everything like face down so you could see the top, the shuffling mechanic would all look different. It's probably, yeah, more work than they'd have it is to, worth it for them. Yeah, they'd have to do like a full UI revamp. Yeah, it is a Beatles reference, right? Yeah, yeah Beatles um, and Eric Clapton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gently weeps. They, yep. I heard the, um, I, I was never a big Beatles connoisseur. Like I, I listened to a lot of the, um, their weirder songs when I was younger, but I was like never the like Yellow Submarine a, album. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, that album in particular, but I'll never forget when, um, they, uh, who was it that did the, the gray album that was like the mashup of the, uh, the Beatles white album and Jay-Z black album. And, um, Oh, that one was. Was cool. it Danger? Danger Mouse? I think did. I think it was Danger Mouse. And yeah. it was like a boot. You could only get it like on bootleg. I think I bought it on eBay for like ten bucks. <laughs> um, but that was kind of fun, and and I, oh, I remember that. Anyways, but yeah, I guess maybe we should do our like wrap up the show and do our listener series match. <laughs> So for those of you who may or may not be familiar uh, or, or who missed last season's listener series, the Born to be Wild listener series is a free wild Hearthstone tournament series with custom deck building restrictions each week. The main series lasts five weeks, followed by three weeks of playoffs. This is week five, the final um, week of the regular season, and it is entitled Clash of the Titans. And... Uh, uh, our very own Goliath the Dwarf has recorded an intro for the lore element. After an assault on the Lich King by the demon hunter Illidan Stormrage, Arthas rushed to his master's rescue and drove the demon hunter's army back. Claiming the helm of domination, the fallen prince merged with his master and became the new Very cool. Very cool. I love hearing the lore segments. They're so fun. Sheep, you're muted. Thank you. So the primary <laughs> challenge for this week is that the uh, is called Rush to the Master's Rescue. Each deck must contain at least eight rush cards. The secondary challenge is that each deck must contain at least six Knights of the Frozen Throne cards. And finally, well, penultimately, uh, each player must bring one Demon Hunter deck that cannot be banned. And then, of course, our um, season-long restriction is that the Scourge grows, that there must be a minimum of eight undead cards in all decks for each player. The Scourge grows. Eight is a lot now. Eight is a lot, but I think this is <laughs> as is. big as it gets, right? Like, this is the end of the Scourge this week based on the lore, right? I think we're done with it next week. I think we're done with it. It might go up one more time. I probably should know this <laughs> <laughs> anyways but so if you're watching live stick around uh, we will be casting a match right after the show if you were watching later on uh, youtube or listening on one of the podcast apps uh, the weekly um, match will also be posted on youtube so you can check it out there as well i'm super nervous i got a verse nhl we're, we're we're playing tomorrow morning and i feel like i'm gonna get like 
<laughs> absolutely wrecked because NHL has been like playing a lot of like pl- practice rounds and like really deck building. And I'm like, I just, I don't know how, like, I'm like top three or something. And I'm like, oh no. Like, <laughs> I'm going to get pa- paired up against <laughs> NHL soon. I just know it. I just oh, know no. it. And then I got paired up against him. So, um, yeah, we'll see. I'm we'll see how it goes. I'm playing Schmoopy Daddy this week. We're playing tomorrow also. My decks are so bad. Uh, I I waited until like the last possible second because I was playing. I hit Classic Legend that night. And then I was like, <laughs> oh, sweet. I could go to bed. And then, oh, and, wait. Then, and then I was like, <laughs> oh, no, it's almost midnight. <laughs> yeah. and it was like, oh, no, I got to do this. Thing. And then so I built the decks like really quickly and made sure that they met the requirements. But like they're bad. I told Shruby Dad are so bad. He's like, I've heard people say that. And then he got swept. So I don't believe you. <laughs> He's like, I, lo- <laughs> I looked at them and they don't look that bad to me. So I think they might sometimes because be. I've been doing what you're you're doing nate like i did that this week the the night that actually blue train and and i met up was wednesday and so when we were done i had to drive home and then i'm like oh, now i gotta build my decks i haven't built my decks yet and but sometimes like when you build them on the fly like that they end up performing like quite well yeah they like, can still be good and come up with with, with an idea like sometimes i surprise myself <laughs> <laughs> i don't know I had a couple, I, I try to do some spicy stuff, you know, I am, I, I enjoy winning, but I'm mostly trying to have fun. And so I think that when we can do something that's like in between somewhere. It's, it's kind of fun to like brush off the old favorites or, or something that I wouldn't normally think of playing. Um, and, or, or like, Hey, how can I make this work? I brought a death rattle demon hunter this week because I was like, Oh, I got to bring this, that, and the other. I was like, how can I make that work? Um, and I used to, or I thought to myself, like, oh yeah, I used to really enjoy playing um, Death Rattle Demon Hunter in Standard with Nazoth God of the Deep and having it pull back like one of this and one of this and one of that. And uh, now it'll do Undeads too. Like, I'll build that. Um, is it going to be good? Like, probably not, but <laughs> it's going to be mm-hmm. fun. <laughs> but you get to play something you would never play otherwise, right? That is very true. So, that's what i like like sometimes we think our decks are trash uh because we're 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 sticking to these rules but everybody else has to stick to them too so that's why like if your deck feels bad well your opponent might think their deck feels bad too that's why it's a perfect matchup hey there we go wiser words <laughs> i've never been spoken <laughs> and you heard that on War to be Wild. Wild. You gonna play Craig's song? Oh yeah. I will do that. Tonight I uh, yes. I remember time now. More and wild. I wanna die. Why is the world hate having me in big road? I'm just a four man, not three. Three. Don't nerf me now. Don't nerf me. Cause I don't wanna cost five. I don't wanna cost five. I'm a four mana, three, three minion from Rogue with death rattle. I die and make one, one copies. With sketchy information, I'll fill your hole. But with giant minions, turn one, two, three. There's no stopping me. I'm feeling your whole book, yeah. My turn to a three, and not too bad for a four mana three three. Your opponents, they will up concede. I wanna make the biggest rogue I can out of you. Don't nerf me now, I never wanna cast fire. I don't wanna fall. Don't nerf me now, aren't you having such a fun time? With giant sea balls, don't nerf me, I'm having a good time. Don't Nerf me, I don't wanna cast five, I don't wanna cast five at all. I'm the coolest gun we've ever seen since Bonds. I'm an illusionist, an awesome death rattle. A little cobalt, I'm a death rattle that never goes away. Kinda like a dread steed. Only more, 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 more powerful. I'm feeling your whole book, yeah. But turn to a three, not too bad for a four man. Don't 
nerf me, don't nerf me, don't nerf me. Hey, hey, hey! Don't nerf me, don't nerf me. Woo, woo, woo. I like don't that. Don't nerf me, don't nerf me. Keep me the same, the same. Don't nerf me, don't nerf me. Whoa! <laughs> this one is for all the ten mana minions you've never seen playing wild. This one's for you, Stormborn General. For you, Mass Traveler. Rest in peace. I'm feeling your whole board, yeah. By turn two or three, not too bad for a four mana three three. Your opponents, they will all concede. I wanna make the biggest rogue I can out of you. Don't nerf me now. I never wanna gas five. I don't wanna fall. Don't nerf me now. Aren't you having such a fun time? With giant step balls, don't nerf me. I'm having a good time. Don't nerf me. I don't wanna cast five. I don't wanna cast five at all. Da 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 da. Well, I'm sure they'll never nerf me. I'll be four mana forever. This'll age well. <laughs> <laughs>